A Brighton Heights mom says she never thought she'd have to dump her own trash into a garbage truck. But that's what surveillance video shows as two refuse workers stand by and watch her do it. Amy Wada shows us what happened. It's slightly hard to hear on the video, but the sea rights say those refuse workers didn't dump out all the trash because it was too heavy. Every Wednesday morning is trash pickup on Wilkesboro Avenue in Brighton Heights. The sea rights surveillance camera shows a city of Pittsburgh refuse worker bring an empty garbage can back to the curb, then moves on to the neighbor's trash next door. Then you hear this. Do you guys care if I put them in? This is the second week you haven't taken them. They're getting kind of gross. Say that again. Can I dump them in then? Sure. After that, you can see her walk off the porch and place her baby in the grass, who starts crying. Then she drags one can over to the garbage truck, dumps it in, then grabs a second can and does the same. Both workers stand by watching. Brian Seawright says this is the second week in a row one of their trash cans was left at the curb without being dumped. But it was the same people we had last week. So he's glad his wife took matters into her own hands. If you look at it, it's clearly not that heavy. Uh, my wife can lift it up into the uh, into the garbage truck herself, which she uh, she has no experience whatsoever doing that. Um, so she made it look pretty easy. Seawright says kitchen garbage was mostly in the two cans that weren't dumped, and there were also some dirty baby diapers. Some other Pittsburgh residents on Facebook claim similar things happened to them, including one woman from Brookline who says she ran into the same situation as the Seawrights, only to be told no when she asked if she could dump the can into the truck herself. The Seawrights say they just want answers. We just haven't got an answer. Uh, we were well within the regulations then, uh, so it should have been taken. But this can is completely within its limits for the city. It has a sealed lid on top. Uh, it's 35 gallons. The city's website asks residents to place garbage in a container with a tight-fitting lid and asks that it doesn't exceed 35 gallons in capacity. It doesn't say anywhere how heavy the can should be. We reached out to the city for answers, and all we were told is the City Department of Public Works is investigating. Meantime, Councilman Bobby Wilson says he is concerned by what he saw in the video, and he went on to say he expects the best from city employees and is confident Public Works will complete a thorough investigation. In the Strip District, Amy Wattis, KDK News.